guys welcome back to another video so today I'm gonna to be trying out a bunch of Primark makeup and basically doing a full face of new Primark makeup which I'm so excited about I recently went to Oxford Street they had an east side Primark and a west side Primark and I had no idea there was a west side one so I went to the east side one and there was literally no not much makeup there so I was just a bit gutted so I thought okay I'll do a testing out Primark makeup because I couldn't find everything but then my friend Nina came over and she was like there's another Primark in Oxford Street and I was like what? went to the bigger one and that had a bigger range of makeup and they had all like the palettes and stuff so anyways I got a bunch of makeup to do a full face of primer makeup because you guys have been requesting it so much in the comments so I'm listening to you guys and here is the video I was very very surprised and I feel like Primark have definitely upped their game with their makeup because it's just I can't believe like this is all Primark on my face guys it's just like a little close up yeah i hope you guys will really really enjoy this video and please 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 while you're watching please take the time to hit that little thumbs up button which is what side it's on this side here and also don't forget to subscribe which is right here the button's right here i hope i'm pointing to the right directions i hope you will enjoy this video and we'll jump straight into it okay so my hair is a real mess right now i'm just going to tie it up in a bun and then i haven't brushed it yet i've done my little bun i'm just going to keep it like this by the way i'm at my sister's room she's gone out to work and I thought, let me just film in here because it's a bit quieter. Like when I film in the kitchen, there's a lot of noise like in the background. So I'm going to jump on the first thing, which is a face mask. I'm really, really excited to try this. This is the Hollow and Glow Hollow Back Hydrating Mask. It's a gold holographic sheet mask. I don't know how many times I've said holo or holographic. This was £3 and on the back it says, get, get your sparkle back and a hollow glow with the super nourishing blend. Raspberry ketone, vitamin E, soybean seed extract. Here's just a little close up of it. It looks like it's a sequin mask, but I don't think it's a sequin mask. It actually smells really nice, like really fresh. Look how cool this looks. It says carefully unfold mask. Look how cool it looks. Oh, that's so cold. Oh. Dang, it's so cold it's making my eyes water. <laughs> this feels really hydrating. Okay, my mum's drying her hair, so if you can hear the hair dry in the background, ignore that. But I'm going to leave this on for 15 minutes and I'll be right back. And I'll let you guys know what I think of it. Right, it's been 15 minutes my face is ice cold because it's so cold in the house. Whew. It's super, super cold, like... I was starting to shiver. Do you know, it actually feels really, really nice though. I can't really say much about it right now because obviously it's a skincare item and it's really hard to say anything about skincare products because you just don't know how your skin's gonna react to it in a day or two or even a week. My face does feel super hydrated though. So now onto the next item, I got this Stay All Day Primer, which extends the wear of makeup, smooth skin to create the perfect base for makeup. This is what it looks like and it was only £3. I'm really happy because it comes with like sealed ends, so you know, no one's opened it because a lot of the testers were opened. And what I would say is shake it, shake it a lot. But it does feel like more of like a lotion soothing primer it feels like um the rihanna one honestly doesn't really have a scent to it that primer is all right there's nothing really special about it by the way i also got this mirror double-sided mirror it's humongous yeah it comes with a handle so you can just be like this so convenient and i looked at the price look how big it is it's like the size of my face and it was only £3.50. £3.50, guys. That's so cheap. So, yeah, I had to get it. Got the longest weird hair here. Okay, so now I'm going to use some of the colour corrector. I got some colour corrector. This is the PS colour corrector in... I have no idea what shade this is. It's £1.50, but I actually paid £60 for this when it was on the receipt. This is what it looks like. There's not really a shade on it, but... It's just like the or only orange one they had. Swatch. Slighter than I thought it would be. 
I really don't like that. It's like I'm putting clay on my face. Oh my god, please ignore my spot, but look at this. Just going on super dry. Okay, so that is a big no-no for me. I don't like this one. Oh, and I also got the famous primer water. I literally have seen this all over Instagram. Like, UK bloggers have been posting about this. Apparently, it's really good. And this was £2. I swear it was £5. £2 for this big bottle primer water, like... I don't even know what to say. This is what the primer water looks like and I'm just going to spritz my face with this. It smells really nice. It smells like roses, I think. It says it hydrates and refreshes and preps skin for makeup application. I will spray my face at the end as well because that's what I do in my Smashbox primer water anyways. And I'm actually really surprised by the mist. The mist is actually really nice. It's like a fresh cloud. So definitely recommend this so far. So now on to, I got some foundations. Now it was so hard, I literally spent like 15 minutes trying to find a colour. Don't think they had my colour in in the foundation at first i just wanted to get my perfect color perfect finish foundation this is the medium coverage semi matte finish one but then they also had the dewy finish one but this is like a bb cream and this one looks more like my color but this one's just a bit darker so i thought let me get the two swatch them and let's see like if i can find my color otherwise i'll just mix them okay i've just zoomed you guys in i feel like when i do videos like this it's nice to get up close and personal in the dewy foundation i got the shade toffee but then in the perfect finish foundation i got the shade caramel which is much darker but these were the like the yellowy ones it's been sealed i feel like that could be my color it literally disappeared on my skin during winter i get super pale by the way guys but that is like blending it's like a slight, it's like if I bring this here, it will get a bit light. So what I'm going to do, let me swatch the perfect, the matte foundation. Oh, I got an open one. I got a tester. This one's not sealed. I don't know why I didn't check, guys. But this one's way darker, like. But I might mix it with the... That's obviously too dark, but I might mix it with this one. I prefer the consistency of the BB cream. I feel like that's a bit better colour wise. I'm just going to dot this all over. I'm going to use my Real Technique sponge. I don't like their sponges. I've tried it before. They're horrible. I'm not. I'm going to be straight up with you guys. They're, they're literally like rocks. I'm not even joking. very surprised like the camera's not picking up my color right now it's just a close-up look how flawless this is blending i'm very surprised so apart from the color like i'm happy with the mixture that i've gotten and by the way the prices of the foundation were so the dewy one was a bit more pricier i think it was like four pounds and then the uh, matte coverage one was two pounds fifty so they're actually really really affordable so like for the price I feel like it's worth a try like it's sitting really really well on my skin we'll see by the end of the video like if this is gonna crease into my lines or not but the color is really really nice okay you guys are gonna die when you see the concealer because I feel like Primark have really upped their game so I will let you guys know what I think about the foundations like my final thoughts on them in the info box okay now for the exciting part I got the concealer and there was by coincidence there was only my shade left and it was the shade toffee and this is the one I wanted to get the concealer is two pound and it's called the PS my perfect color liquid concealer so again it's the shade toffee and it actually really reminds me of like the NARS packaging I'm gonna do a little swatch for you looks like a good color for me it's very yellow very yellow so I'm gonna put some on my lids as well bit on my forehead I'm just gonna blend that in 
Okay, now onto the exciting part. I got some banana powder from Primark. It's called the PS Instagirl Banana Powder. This is what it looks like. Four pounds. And I'm just gonna bake with this. Okay, so I'm ju I've just done a bit of baking and I'm gonna brush off the excess. So far, I'm, I'm really pleased. I'm going to do a flash test. There's no flashback. Like, I haven't even put my bronze on, so that's normal for my foundation to look really pale like that. I mean, there's a slight bit, but it's not that obvious okay so the concealer is really like thin and it's really like it's not full full coverage it's very light to medium coverage it definitely evens out my under eyes but i can still see darkness in some bits i'm gonna move on to my brows because my brows look hideous okay so for my brows i got the all about brows color set and highlight brow palette this was two pounds fifty and it comes with Three colours, a wax powder and a highlight and a little brush. I don't like, like using these when I don't have a spoonie. Let's try the wax first. This is a darker shade, it's the medium to dark one. I don't have a spoonie right now, which I'm kind of gutted, but I'm just going to go with the flow. And try the powder. I feel like the brow powder is like a touch, like a tiny bit too warm for me because I feel like I can see some red bits. Before I put some of the highlight powder, I'm just going to grab some concealer and clean up the edges. Okay, so I'm going to leave my brows like that. It's not The brow product is not that bad actually. And I'm just going to use some of the highlight powder underneath. So now onto the eyes. Before I finish my skin, I want to finish off the eyes and I got some individual eyeshadows. Um, none of the palettes, the eyeshadow palettes were very interesting to me and I didn't see any of the like the ones that I've been seeing on YouTube, like the MAC dupe ones. But then I saw some really nice colours in the individual ones and I thought I'd get these. These were 60p each and you can buy your empty palette that they were selling for like £5 and fill it in. I'm actually going to go in with this orangey shade. As I was opening the eyeshadow, it just cracked, look a bit, just fell off. It's coming up much more pigmented than I would have thought. By the way, this shade was called Vermillon. 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 The next one I'm going to grab is Sunkiss, which is a really pretty gold shade. Look how pretty that colour is. That caught my eye. It feels really soft. So I'm going to just apply this all over my lid. Oh my god. Look how pretty it is. I just applied that all over my lid and had a bit of like the Vermillion colour in the crease. But with the brow highlight, this eye look is stunning. And then finally I'm going to grab the one that is called Cranberry. This is a shimmery plummy colour. So this is what this one looks like and I'm going to apply this on my lower lash line. So just to swatch it for you guys. super pigmented my eye is watering a bit for some reason but look at that color I don't know why my eyes watering which is so weird because that never happens but I'm very 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 impressed by the eyeshadows like that's definitely something if they come out with more colors I would grab I feel like they didn't have much of a selection because they were all taken but they look so beautiful so next up I also grab this um, set that Nina actually found for me it's the Saint Orsina Blackthorn Eyes Collection um so this looks the packaging looks so like luxurious I would say um it was three pounds for the eye stencils the eyeliner and the mascara I love the fact that everything's sealed up but it's such a pain to open so weirdly enough it comes with this plasticky kind of stencil thing 
that you can just like do your eyeliner. Lots of like different styles and everything, but I'm not gonna use this. I can't work with these type of things. I'm just gonna do it myself. So I'm gonna use the Saint Olsen and Liquid Eyeliner. This is what it looks like. I'm curious to see what the brush is gonna look like. This is what the brush looks like. Standard flimsy brush thing. What did you do? Wow. This eyeliner is super black. Super black. I am so pleased with this. I can't believe it. And then I'm gonna go straight in with the mascara. Now the packaging feels legit. Like it has this metal plasticky kind of look to it. But it looks it has this metal look to it, but it's plastic, I'm guessing. This is what the brush looks like. Dry AF, I'm not gonna swear on my channel. But it's just like, there's nothing going on my lashes. I'm very pleased with the eyeliner, but the mascara is just a thumbs down for me. I also did get some £1 lashes from Primark that everyone seems to buy for some reason. Okay, so I've just finished gluing on this eye. Like, this is my eyes done. But the falsies are, are not as bad as I thought they'd be. They did have a contour palette, but they had like the highlight, the setting powder and everything in there and I just didn't want to get the whole thing. So I just got a mattifying powder, which is medium coverage. It says it's smooth application. This is in the shade Caramel and it was £2. I felt like this was a good bronzer shade for me, so I'm just going to put that as a bronzer. So that wasn't too bad, it was very easy to work with, so I'm quite happy for the bronzer and um, powder kind of thing. I would actually use this again. So I found the best thing ever, and it's this Pure Glow palette. It's almost like a dupe, I haven't tried the Anastasia ones, but it looks like a dupe for the Anastasia ones. Guys, look, like some of it's pressed funny, but look at it. Isn't that the most beautiful thing? Like these two, these two right here, look at them. This is Glimmer, which is the lightest gold. Firefly, which is the darker gold. Oh, this is like the pale pinky shade. They're not chalky or anything. That's the white shade. I'm actually gonna mix the two, Glimmer and Firefly, which are the two gold ones. I also wanted to show you guys, because these have been very popular, the Pure Glow Highlighters. This is in the shade Champagne, this was £3. Oh, and by the way, the Glow Kit was £5, so such a bargain. This I definitely recommend, just look at that glow. Um, but yeah, I'm going to try this um, Pure Glow in Champagne. I've seen this all over Instagram. I have wiped my brush in some tissue. So I feel like the Pure Glow is less sparkly, like the Yoclet is not sparkly, but when you try to blend a bit of it, it does go a bit like chunky, but this one is just like wet. I wanted to try the white shade in my inner corners. It is really white for me, like for my liking. For highlight i like mine to be like a really light gold so i feel like the pink and the white in this set i probably won't use but i'll definitely be using the two gold ones they look stunning i did grab a few lip colors so i'm gonna try the dark one first i did get a really dark one which was from the uh, saint or sinner collection so like the liner and the mascara um, this is the ultra matte lipstick in the shade Moonchild. So again, it has that same packaging as the mascara, that kind of metal look. This was three pounds. It's all right for lipstick. The lipstick's actually kind of cool. So basically, with the lipstick, you press on the button, it clicks it out, and then you pull it out. Don't it look stunning? I had to get this one. It is really tugging, like. I can't do it here because I feel like my lips are going to tear. I've broken the lipstick and it smells like cherries. It smells like cherries. Okay, so this is very poor application. You're sure to get baboon bum 
realness with this lipstick because you know the inner ring yeah i really don't like when lipsticks do that when you get like that ring there like, this is definitely an ultra matte it's very dry like it's a very dry lipstick a bit patchy it is very rough application but overall i would give this like a 2.5 out of 5 got good color payoff but you really have to layer but it's also very patchy and dry so i don't know how i feel about it i feel like it's very dry and it's also very it's gone wiggly now because i've tugged on it so much so i don't think i'd be wearing this i love the color the color is stunning but i just wish that it was a bit more like it doesn't even transfer a bit more creamier just a little bit it feels like a liquid lipstick i'm not gonna lie but it's very patchy but maybe if you put a lip liner like a good lip liner underneath it might go really well so i don't know for the price it's not too bad okay so i've just removed the lipstick well most of it i'm just going to apply some of my primark blush and muscovado this is one of my favorite blushes of all time and this is only one pound fifty well i got it for one pound fifty i'm just going to brush a little bit on my cheeks can't get over the glow guys look at that i'm just like beaming so back onto lips i did get more wearable color so i've got this one pound fifty insta girl kiss proof lip liner pencil this is in the shade incognito this is what the lip liner looks like i just got a tip like that on my hand very creamy I do like the liner but it's a bit sticky like I haven't even filled my lips in but when I press my lips it like sticks to the liner section. But now onto the lips I've got this £2.50 PS Instagirl Insta Satin Matte Lipstick. It says it's a velvet matte finish and again this is incognito. Um, it comes in this little box like this. This is what the colour looks like. Really messy swatch but it's very similar to the lip, the lip pencil. I am definitely digging this lip colour and the finish of it. I definitely prefer the finish of it compared to the one before. Guys, I'm shook. This is a full face of Primark. So that's the end of this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. I definitely am really shocked and I had a few favourites. Definitely the eyeshadow, the liner, um, the highlighters... The lipsticks and the primer water were some of the products that really st stood out for me. The foundation, I'm not too sure yet. I will wear it for a bit for the rest of the day and I'll let you know in the info box what I think about it. But so far, it's so good. It is gathering in some areas, but overall it looks very, very flawless. Some products that were like a huge fail for me were the colour corrector, the mascara. Oh, and let's quickly do a um, flash test. So one of the pictures, it did give a bit of flashback under the eye, so the powder does give a bit of flashback. But then on, other, on another one, my skin looks pretty good. So I don't know how I feel about the banana powder. I feel like because in the other picture, it did give a bit of flashback and it looks a bit funny. Like if I see a little bit of flashback, that's like a huge fail for me. Yeah, I can see some like it's like a bit brighter but you guys let me know in the comments below what you think of these photos i will insert them here i just don't know how i feel about the banana powder because there is some some flashback and that's just terrible for me i've had some flashback nightmares back in the day guys i have but the concealer was all right for like every day it's not bad it's very thin like watery concealer but it has an all right coverage to the point where it gives like it just evens it out is definitely not a tart shaped tape dupe but it's quite good for the price but my makeup looks pretty good in this picture guys i'm very very surprised and the the lashes one pound anyways i hope you guys enjoyed this video and please 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 give it a big thumbs up if you did enjoy it and it will let me know to do more one brand tutorials in the future subscribe and i will see you guys in my next video